Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I created a data pack that lets you destroy your Minecraft world with 5 different viruses. If you want to use them in your own world, head on over to my website and download the zip file you'll find there. Copy it and paste it into the data packs folder of your world. If you don't know how to get there, just press Windows and R, type percent ape data percent, go into dot Minecraft, saves and then whatever your world is called. Finally, open your world and type slash reload in chat. If you are on a Mac, just look up a tutorial on how to access your .minecraft folder. There are plenty of tutorials online. After you have successfully installed the creation, type the following function into the chat. Function virus git. And you will get five different spawn eggs. Let's start off with the virus spawn egg. I'm just gonna make sure that this tree is not connected to anything else and then I'm gonna place the spawn egg here and it slowly transforms everything into sponge after it uh, reaches that end it does not stop it just keeps searching for blocks that are connected to the to the sponge area and now that it doesn't find any new blocks it will just keep traveling around and if I now connect something else to it eventually it will find it and transform it as well. You can transform anything, you can also place them on the ground and the whole floor and underneath um, the, the ground will also be transformed into sponge but you can't see it there so it's not that exciting. But let's head on over to this village here and place one over there and as you can see it's slowly being transformed into sponge okay now it's probably somewhere underground you just have to be lucky so that it stays on the surface so you can actually see what's happening otherwise it's just underground and you don't see anything the whole virus lasts for about five minutes i think and after that, the area effect cloud that is controlling everything will be killed. So don't worry about too many entities in your world. Eventually, the entities will disappear again. And after a couple of minutes, after letting the whole thing run, the place looks like this. So pretty destroyed. So when you place this in a huge mansion or something, you can do quite some damage with this, with this virus. So let's check out the second one, which is even more destructive. It spawns a, a armor stand wearing a TNT on its head and it bounces around into random directions. And every time it hits the ground, it spawns a bunch of TNT that cause a lot of destruction. Starting to lag a bit here. I guess there are so many entities and explosions and particles in my world. Probably not a good idea to stay near the area where the area effects cloud are still doing work. Let's head on over here and try this out again. You can even spawn multiple of these. It's gonna lag, keep that in mind, but it is possible. Ah, isn't that just beautiful? My frames are completely gone. That's how I like it. As you can see, with very little effort, I was able to do a lot of damage here. If you like damage, you will also like this next virus, which covers the whole surface into lava. So if you spawn it, you will see that the lava very quickly starts to spread and quickly covers the whole surface of your world. This only runs for about 10 seconds because all the block updates cause a lot of lag. So after about 10 seconds, you just have to let the, the lava flow a bit and after everything is settled in, you can place another spawn egg. This is just kind of a safety mechanism because this virus is not supposed to crash your world, but just to destroy it. And it's just, it's so fast. And in no time, 
you pretty much created the nether in the overworld. Which everyone wants, of course. Look at this, isn't that just pretty? As you can see, my frames are starting to drop again. Usually I get like 200 or 300 FPS. Now I'm at, now I'm at 30. If 30 frames are still too much for you, then I have a lag virus that you might like. If you place it, some smoke clouds will appear. And after you move around for a while, your frames will severely start to drop. The thing about this virus is that as soon as you stop moving, your frames will increase again. So only when you move, the lag will start to increase. And as soon as you stop moving, the lag, the lag will decrease. So if you don't know about this, then you might get really confused that as soon as you start moving, your whole game starts to lag. And as soon as you stop, everything is gone again and it's back to normal. So for people who don't know that, very confusing. And this virus has a range of about 100 blocks, I think, which is hard to get away from because as soon as you start running away, it's starting to lag again and you have to stop and make a small break. So as you can see, if you look at the entity counter on the top left, and I'm just spawning a bunch of entities whenever the player is moving and when he stops moving, I kill them again, which is really annoying. So now I'm outside of the radius and I'm not affected anymore. If you take a look at the entity counter, as soon as I get into the radius, Again, they increase rapidly and I'm starting to lag again like crazy. This is beautiful. I love having one FPS. But yeah, that was the lag virus. And last but not least, we have the creeper virus, which basically transforms all the entities in a certain radius around you into creepers. So if we place it over here, and all the, all the cows will start to emit some particles and after a while they will all turn into creepers. This works for all the mobs, so we can summon cows, we can summon sheep, we can summon chicken. All the mobs will turn into creepers. This also lasts for about 10 minutes I think which is a pretty good time, it doesn't cause a lot of lag, so I put the timer on a much higher value. This is not supposed to lag your game, this is just to, supposed to kind of confuse you and annoy you, because you can only find, find creepers in your world, and even if you kind of spawn something new in, after about, of, about like 5 to 10 seconds, it will also turn into a creeper. And yeah, that was all the 5 virus commands. A lot of fun to use and you can definitely cause a lot of destruction with this and lag your game out like you've never lagged it out before which is always fun let me just get away from this mess if i can there we go much better all right, and that's pretty much the, the data pack. The download link can be found in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.